Advanced Documents, 2022 New England Yearly Meeting, Introduction to Sessions Business, pages 1 to 2, read by David Coletta on July 15th, 2022. Introduction to Sessions Business. Two years ago, faced with our first ever Zoom business meetings, I put aside much of the standard business, having permanent board deal with a few things, putting off a couple of others, and just not doing some that we might normally do. While no substitute for being together, the process was useful in bringing to the fore the question, quote, what do we really need to do together, unquote. Last year, with a bit more confidence in our collective abilities to work together on Zoom, and the need to deal with a few things that couldn't be put off longer, we had a very full agenda with some challenging work. This year, we are again trying something new, in having hybrid business meetings. Some of you will be in person at the auditorium at the Fine Arts Center at Castleton, while others will attend by Zoom. While we're still working on details and logistics, we expect there to be several cameras in the Fine Arts Center, each with a Zoom window. Friends at home will be able to see an overview of the body, but when someone speaks, there will be another camera which can zoom in enough that your image will be similar to that of other Zoom windows. In the Fine Arts Center, there will be several screens, showing both the body of friends gathered by Zoom and a screen which will spotlight Zoom participants when they speak. I have great confidence in our tech team. I am expecting that I and both reading clerks will be in person at the clerk's table, and at least one of the recording clerks will be remote. We think this will work. I will share that I am personally committed to helping those on Zoom to feel like full participants, such that this is a true hybrid meeting, not a business meeting for those in person with others watching on Zoom. But this is new stuff for all of us, so I ask for your prayers and a modicum of forgiveness in the moments I fail to live up to my intention. Several voices, at least one of them divine, have been reminding me that given the weight of life concerns and experience that friends will be carrying this year, our business sessions should return regularly to worship, which is always intended to be the foundation. Among the business items that we will tend to are considering preliminary approval of the marriage chapter of faith and practice, some recommendations from permanent board about the evolution of how we care for ministry and council concerns, and hearing a report from the Right Relationship Resource Group about the distribution of the letter of apology. We will follow the report from RRRG with a proposal from Friends Peace Teams to begin engaging in an exploration of New England Yearly Meeting's involvement with Indian boarding schools. In addition, I intend to use a portion of our time on a threshing session, no decision expected, considering the questions, how do we decide how much of our money to give away? Of that amount, how do we decide how much goes to which organization? These questions were brought to Permanent Board by the Finance Committee, and in some initial wrestling, Permanent Board did not find answers. So I'd like a broader group to contribute to the thinking about this. But multiple people have pointed out that this is a question that monthly meetings wrestle with, and individuals as well. Remember, friends, that the meeting for business is at its heart a meeting for worship. While the agenda items give some shape to that worship, we must remember that we come together to listen to the divine expecting that together we will have a greater sense of where God is calling us. As I like to say, it's okay to bring an opinion to business meeting, but it's not okay to hold it so closely that we do not listen to how the Spirit is moving us. It's easy, when discerning, to let our thoughts and minds take over, but our challenge is to stay grounded in the eternal. Part of my job in clerking these meetings is to bring us back to a place of worship in moments when we are at risk of losing our sense of a gathered body. Part of your job is to come prepared, both in mind, read the advanced docs, and in heart. Pray that we will be blessed by the light. Pray that if you are given words to speak, that you have the courage to do so. Pray that if you speak easily, you will find clarity on whether you are being asked to speak at this moment.